I'm Lizzie Oakes, and I've always been completely and utterly fascinated by the nativity story. I guess it all started when I was a little girl and I came across a nativity scene in a church when I was around seven years old. There it was, just this humble scene set up in the corner of the church and I remember gazing at it and it just sort of got a hold of my heart. I was mesmerized by the thought of this baby being born in a manger. It wasn't until a couple of years ago that I finally got around to getting hold of my own nativity set. In fact, I did a lot of searching in recent years to find the right one. I bought this adorable little wool and felt set. And to be honest, it's the kind of thing I would have loved as a kid. So setting it up again this Christmas, I can feel some of the wonder of that seven-year-old all over again. The story of a pregnant Mary with her husband Joseph journeying to Bethlehem. Now, as a mum, I appreciate how difficult that must have been. Fully pregnant and travelling on a donkey? Uh, I'm sure the suspension would have been really hard and uncomfortable. And then to find that there was no room at the inn and you'll have to give birth in the stable amongst the noisy and smelly animals. Not even a midwife on hand and definitely no electricity. For any mum, that would have been extremely overwhelming, especially a first time mum. Just how did Mary deal with that? She would have been exhausted before she even gave birth. When my son was little, we had a pop-up book that showed the nativity story. Actually, I've still got it. It's one of those books I'll never throw out. You open it out and out pops the angels addressing the shepherds who are in the field tending to their sheep. Unto us a child is born, they proclaim. And then the story goes on and of course to talk of the three wise men who travelled from a really long way themselves bringing their gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. It seems to me that everyone in the nativity story was on a journey. Mary and Joseph, the shepherds, and the three wise men. You know, it makes me so grateful and in awe that Jesus came as a wee needy child born in a humble inn. With his dad being the maker of the universe, he could have turned up in the planet in a much more spectacular way. You know, like, ta-da! <laughs> but there was none of that showing us. I feel like his humble beginning so reflects Jesus' heart. And he continues to hold a space for all of us to come and humbly kneel before him. Not in our flashiest outfits with a lot of pomp and splendor, but real and raw, with an open hand and a humble heart. Jesus has created a space for all weary travellers, whatever roads we have travelled to come home to the Father, to find a resting place for our hearts and for our souls. Merry Christmas.